Good morning and welcome back to subsistence. Oh, look. They delivered some scrap. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day. I have had a lovely weekend. I've been trying out co-op uh, with some uh, lovely friends from uh, Game Edge's uh, Discord server. And uh, we ended up playing. Really, we were probably just going to test the connection and just make sure we could all see each other. Ended up playing for about five hours. <laughs> it was absolutely a blast. We had such a good time. I cannot recommend it enough. If you love this game as much as I do, yeah, if you can uh, find a, a really good group of people, get on there and, uh, oh, the game runs so smoothly. Um, really, really great experience. And it, it's a, just a completely different game. But I um, I did want to carry on recording my um, single player. Um, at least until day 100 and we'll see. I'm hoping to be able to bring you some co-op... Uh, well, a, a co-op um, series, hopefully. We'll, we've got to sort out um, details and stuff, but hoping uh, to be able to bring you that soon. Uh, but my goodness, we had a lot of fun. The group that I was playing with, we had a blast. It was so much fun. Anyway, what's the plan for today? Um, well, I think I'm just going to go and scavenge. We've got a hunter wandering around over there. It seems weird coming back to this today and not hearing other people talking. <laughs> really good. Right, okay, we've got a wolf and a bear over that way. Let's um let's head up here, I suppose. We'll head up on our usual route. Um I can't remember, to be honest, where the rogues were. Um I'm so used to, um, I've been mega hunting um, animals in the, uh, good grief, oh he's up there, yeah I don't think he's bothered by me is he, oh, I'll turn my face towards him just to make sure, um, yeah in the um, <laughs> Co-op, we've obviously there's a lot of hunting that needs to be done early game. Uh, get the bow out and get as many small animals as you can because you know you don't uh, you can't afford to build guns very early on and you don't have an awful lot of ammo. So to come back in here with fully upgraded weapons and you know plenty of uh, plenty of resources is a little odd, I must say. Uh, I'm not going to bother getting the potassium there because I've got lots and I'm not refining it. I'm mainly using the iron. What's that? Is that potassium too? That looks like zinc, I think. Yeah. It's just very brightly lit. We'll get you. We do need you for the uh, alloy, alloy sheets. I suppose what we'll start with today is maybe go and grab some water from the lake. Um, if we're not in the way of um, rogues, anyway, let's have a look. We uh, we built our base up on this. Um, is it that hill? Yeah, that hill there. The big central hill in uh, in co-op and it was uh, it was quite a different place to build um it's a uh, di big difficulty we found was um with locating each other on the map because you start off in the world obviously somebody's hosting oh we've got a hunter we've got a hunter where is he going and why is he heading that way See how far out he was. Oh, we got a wolf on us. Right, let's run. I wonder if he was coming towards me or an animal, that hunter. I'm just casually grabbing fibers while we're running. I missed that one. <laughs> oh, and that one. Timing's out. 
<laughs> he's staying over there. That hunter, I wonder if he was coming for animals or he was uh, he was coming for me. Got his shotgun out, hadn't he? So I think I might have aggroed them. Hmm. Yeah, the big problem we had in co-op was uh, everybody finding each other on the map because, you know, there's certain people, somebody hosted, other people joined in. You're trying to sort of pick out landmarks and explain to each other where you are so you can meet up somewhere. And um, some people knew the map really well and others not. Um, and in the end, that, that central hill was just such a perfect spot. Um, you know, it's um, it's very visible. So it's a great starting spot. But um, just trying to get uh, some sort of um, names that everybody can get used to for all the different areas. Um, that everybody will recognise. So um, yeah, it's kind of uh, it's kind of tricky. But it can be fun though. Right, let's get some water. I'm so tired today. It was quite a late night. <laughs> good, really good fun though. But I thought I'd get this one recorded. I'm uploading a uh, seven days to die right now. And uh, I thought I'd get this one recorded to upload straight afterwards, hopefully. Wow, look at all these crates. Now I think uh, I'm still on the experimental branch. Um, I'm not sure if we need to switch back now because the um, the update for um, multiplayer has now gone to the public branch, the stable branch. So um, if we need to, we'll switch back. Um, I don't think it will affect our saves. Um, but I am still on an experimental. So if there are any slight differences in gameplay and um, things like that, just bear that in mind that I am playing experimental for now. Right, we've got those crates, we've got some water. Mm. Oh, I remember, the, the rogues were... were they over the hill here? Hmm, I can't, yeah, hmm. Okay, we need these medicinal plants, that's right, we're really short of them in this game. Um, I don't think we've even got med kits in, um, in our uh, co-op game yet. We're still at the base building stage and getting enough food every day. The struggle is real early on, it, it definitely is. Um, okay, let's head, how's the time doing? We're okay for time. Let's head a little bit more over in this direction then, because this is somewhere I don't often visit. We're away from the main base hunters, but possibly not the rogues. But the fact that I haven't been over here for a while, I'm hoping will mean it'll be quiet. Just whether the loot spawn is, uh, is good here or not. I've got so much food back at the base, it's so weird now to play this and, and not to be constantly on the lookout and for, for chickens and rabbits and carefully stalking them. Oh, that was something I wanted to talk about. The um, co-op game is, uh, is definitely more difficult and that's confirmed in the latest patch notes um, from Cold Games. Um, it's been amped up in order to kind of balance the gameplay because, you know, we've you could have potentially five people on the map working together and uh, it could be incredibly easy unless it was easier to aggro the animals and to um, have more aggressive hunters so it makes sense it makes sense to me and I didn't find it particularly awful to, to, to get on with I mean there's a learning curve for sure the um, the zone around the animals is increased, so you know you have to be aware of that, and you definitely kind of have to um, keep an eye on your stamina. 
Let's eat that apple. We need a bit of fruit. Oh, we've got a bear there. You have to keep an eye on your stamina and just sort of uh, walk for some periods. Um, and then make sure that you've got a burst of speed just to get out of the way of those uh, those predators when you encounter them because you will encounter them however careful you are and uh, it's probably not best to run around all the time in, uh, in co-op to start with at least early days you really do have to conserve your energy But um, yeah, now this is sort of launched. I'm sure that Cold Games will be working on bug fixes with the networking side of it and perhaps a few more options in the menu because at the moment I think the only way to save the game is to save and exit. Um, so I found myself a couple of times having to save and exit the game and then immediately load it back up again in order to... Uh, um, we, were, we were doing some testing with somebody who was um, leaving the game and then rejoining so we found ourselves saving and exiting to uh, come out and then having to load straight back in again because that was the only way to save the game. So I think changes like that will be um, implemented I'm sure soon. Um, but then I'm hoping that there'll be um, a bit more focus on the, the general gameplay, you know, more manufacturing, more tech more tech tree development and um, probably not player models yet I don't think there's any need for a change there yet but maybe a bit of a map expansion or you know that sort of thing could do with uh, but we're always wanting more we've just had such a huge update we've just had a massive update and look how well it works I mean You'll see there will be a lot of gameplay posted on YouTube shortly, I'm sure. Showing off the uh, the co-op um, game. But uh, we've only just had that and already <laughs> thinking about <laughs> what's going to come next. Oh, I can hear, I can hear Hunter. I forgot they were here. I forgot. I did. That's very silly of me. I'm going to have to turn round because he's... He's not going to leave me alone, is he? Blimey, I, I missed him completely. Come on. Run, woman. Yeah, I wonder if the tree was masking me there. Sometimes that happens. A be beat a hasty retreat. Are they on their way? No, they seem to be staying in their area. Have you noticed that? That's twice they've got me now. Hmm. So that was possibly just one, one guy there. There he is. Oh, there's one down there. So there's two there. Whoa. I was going to say, it's not going to stand around for ages. Just couldn't quite get the curse, well, the uh, view, the sights on him. I think that's a much harder shot from here. I like the pistol for these battles, but that one really didn't work out too well then. Uh, let's have a look from this uh, this rock here. It's needing to come back into view. They're kind of the other side of that hill, aren't they? Well, there's a bit of ore. Let's uh, grab you. So the other one just was down here. Oh, there's one. All right, I can see one guy. Right, 
Right, let's see if we can get a uh, shot on him. Whoa, no. A little bit uh, just out of the range of the sights. Right, he's looking, he's looking. Right, we got him. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, he's broken his leg. That's funny. That's very funny. Come on. Look at them dodge. That's so good. It's not really shooting. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. These guys. Where's he gone? There's his body. Why did he fly over there? Goodness me. Right, let's crouch. I'm going to take the gun off the uh, thumbnail in case, you know. YouTube. Let's get the crates. So we should have... It's only rogues, so I'm not going to bother too much, but... So that's twice they've shot me, to, you know, in this area. So let's get them to move on a little bit. We need to take all key. <laughs> Look at him lying in the dirt. What are you doing? You fell funny. Right. Okay, good. Well, that shut them up for a bit anyway. <laughs> Look at him over there. Shame I wasted a uh, health kit. Yeah, that's uh, upgraded SVTs is fantastic for uh, those kind of encounters. Um, I prefer sniping at them a little bit with the uh, with the SVT, but it's so powerful. Um, I've up upgraded it to the third level now, so um, oh, there was um, some patch notes about the update too um, that have gone in the public branch. Um, I think uh, the hunters now run at a, a faster speed. Whoops, a faster speed towards you in co-op two, um, which is kind of frightening. Um, and then also, remember we've um, found a couple of times uh, kind of a blue glow in the ground. It, I was convinced that uh, maybe a hunter was killed in that spot, and that was his glow stick had fallen into the falling into the game world and was glowing that area. Um, glowing? Yeah, that, well, that's probably a decent description of what it was doing. Um, yeah, that, apparently that was a bug, so that's been fixed as well, so we shouldn't see that anymore. I'm a little bit disappointed because I was convinced that means that uh, a hunter had met his match. Here we go. There's a bit of stuttering then. Oh, come on, wolf. I need to pick this uh, fibre up. No, I expect we're going to get a, uh, a raid soon. I know I left that crate there, but I want to see if that wolf's moved on before I go back and get it. He didn't follow for very long, actually. Quite surprising. Oh, he's turned right round. I can't be bothered. It's feeling a bit lazy today. We'll grab this then. Yeah, anyway, if you want to have a look at the uh, patch notes, um, they're on Steam, so. I can't remember if there's anything else apart from the, you know, the detail about co-op and stuff. Um, and to um, to get my um, game to, uh, well, my PC to allow me to host um, my router and stuff, um, I simply logged into the administrator um, settings for my router uh, via the um, uh, web address that the um, internet service provider uh, gave me uh, using the admin password and in there there's um, an option for port forwarding and I just found my PC on the network and then set up port forwarding for port uh, 27015 on UDP um, 
if you if you're not sure what that all means or you need a little bit more help with your particular setup most routers or internet service providers um, actually give guides on port forwarding um, on their website so um, you should be able to find some support items uh, to take a look at and it really was it really was easy so um, recommend giving it a go but let's uh, purify this water we're going to need to do that we've eaten and fed ourselves um, we'll put the ammo away that we're not using um, everything's reloaded shotgun put the extra resources there we're going to run out of room yes we already have I'm going to recycle some stuff I've got too much stuff I'm never going to use it all so and I'll always get more, so I'm not really too worried about it. Right, so that's all that. Uh, we should make probably some more fuel bricks out of this. Make three. Uh, nails. <laughs> well, that's our two, four, six, eight, ten, uh, a thousand and. Uh, there's 1100, sorry, 1100 um, nails in here. So uh, people will probably be screaming at the screen, but I'm going to um, recycle the ones that I've got left here. Uh, because uh, I'm running out of room. <laughs> so, uh, where are my arrows? Are they in here? Yeah, we've got a good stack of arrows here and we've got all of this to refine right we've got plenty of iron let's refine some of this zinc and then we should be able to make some panels with some of this so and that needs to go upstairs and these are going to get recycled 50 nails should give us a good amount of mass well 25 25 mass drop a bit of uh scrap in there too and I'll run the uh, copper upstairs <laughs> now I wonder I haven't had a raid today yet I wonder if we're going to get one a bit of water in there a bit of fertiliser we're good to go in fact, I'll keep that on me. Still got all these level 10 chickens. And my level 10 chickens are still alive in here. <laughs> it's such a shame. Forever to live their life in the dark confines of a crate. Right, those are done. We'll drop those upstairs along with that uh, ash. But as you can see, when she gets to this stage in the game, it's pretty easy going. And there's, um, you know, the increased uh, raids from the hunters. Although that really startled me for a little while. For a few episodes, I was really quite com confounded as to what to uh, do to handle them. But when she gets to this stage, as long as you can reinforce your base um, and get your lighting up so you can see what's going on when they come to raid you it's um it's not too bad i'd love to be able to share this base with some players because uh, it's nicely set up for a good group of five people <laughs> there's plenty of room plenty of vantage points we could really cause some grief uh, to the hunters in here um, but uh, i don't think you could share a single player game once it's already created, I mean, so... Right, where should we start upgrading next? Um, these faces here never really take any damage. And I've done all of that side. I probably ought to work on that over there. Those two uh, panels. Pop outside and just have a very quick look at this area. Yeah, I think those two end panels are going to be next. And then that uh, little roof that we've got going on. Maybe these stairs. 
because they get grenade damage quite often. Um, right, let's have a look. And we need a bit of scrap. Use up some of this. Uh, Uh, some of this, um, you know, material here. One, two. Oh, we need, yeah, we need zinc. That's what we're short of. So we can get another two. Okay, we'll wait for that to finish and then um, start doing a few upgrades. Probably start with the stairs outside. I suspect we're going to be getting a raid soon. But I wonder if the aggro for the hunters in the single player has been toned down a little bit in that update. I'm not sure. So I would have expected to have seen at least two raids by now, by this time of day. Just waiting for this little bit of zinc. Is that what I need topping up? No, it's pretty good. There's one. Right, we might be able to do the stairs outside now. Yep. Yeah. Right, pop this away. Um, I wish you could shift click in there. <laughs> oh look, that's interesting. I'm sure that changed from a six to a five. Might have been me though. Uh, we'll pop you in there. Oh, the Something I do remember that uh, I wanted to mention as well is that the recipe for grenades has changed. Instead of three sinew now, uh, it is um, one. So that's a fantastic change. I really think that's great. Just what we need. Oh, I could probably do those from the other side actually, so I don't have to risk going out there. stuck in the doorway. Sorry for how dark it is. Let's turn the light on so you can see. Here, yep, yeah, we've got a we've got a raid. Nice. Wow, listen to that. Where the hell did that come from? Did that hurt them? Oh Oh, no missed him. Missed him. Right, we've got you. Where are, you. where are the others? We've got you. Are you down there somewhere, are you? Let's see if we can get him to move. You're in the, you're in the f tree. Come on. Come to a spot that I can see you. Yeah, I really can't see you there, fella. Let's move backwards a bit, see if we can encourage him out. There he is. That's a good, that's a good spot to stand. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Good. We're going to have some repairs to do, but at least we've got the raid. That's uh, awesome. Let's leave the light on for a second. I was going to go and do that upgrade. They always turn up at the most inconvenient times, don't they? Oh my god, look at the damage. Jeez. Right. Well, repair time. And then we'll... Oh, we better get the crates, actually. Before they despawn, because there's three there. Make sure nobody else is creeping up on me. Bit of ammo, at least. <laughs> Where did the other guy go? Um, oh there. Nice. Thank you guys. Thank you for bringing me some steak. Right, repair time. Oh, that's quite a bit of damage. That must have took a direct hit. But look, it was only three boards to repair. Same with that one. None of my equipment here, or the or the crates or anything, that have been damaged. That's great. Uh, nothing on there either. Nice. Oh, a little bit on the floor. I wonder how long that's been like that. 
Oh, and then this floor too. Well, they are foundations, I suppose. Right, let's turn some of these lights off. It's very bright in here all of a sudden. That's all fine. Uh, oh, tiny, tiny bit on that railing. But look, I mean, considering they full tossed a, uh, a grenade straight at that location, it's pretty decent. I'm just going to pop this ammo away. Uh, weapon parts, a bit of scrap. We've got our panels. And they bought me some zinc because they knew I was using so much of it. Okay, well, we'll leave that as it is. Uh, we've got one spare zinc. <laughs> let's put that in there for now, why not? Oh, right, let's have our lovely steak that the uh, hunter bought us. And we'll go and upgrade those stairs. So that was the set of hunters that I ran past um, in the main valley floor. So um, right sort of by... Um, I think it was these guys there. I think, yeah. Those guys where you can see the light there. At least I think that was the case. Come on. Nice. Right, actually, we were going to upgrade here. That was the thing I was doing, I think. It's always when you turn your back on these buggers. Oh, must have been from a previous battle. Right, let's crouch and see if we can get to this back wall. Um, no, it's not letting me past the chicken coop. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it from here. Hang on. No. Oh, hang on. Uh, no, that's the stairs picking up the stairs there. Let's see, how about this? Let's try that. We've got upgrade hold use, which is E. There we go. Maybe I'll make one more quick panel because I can reach it from here. Hang on then. Let's see if we've got the resources. Yeah, we should be good now, I think. Scrap. Let's turn the main light off because we're using electricity. Alloy sheet, please. Thank you very much. Um, pop you back in here. We'll refine some iron. We'll let the power build back up first because we're going to lose our fridge otherwise. And we don't need that. Okay, that's all good. Turn the light off now because that's finished and this one is finished too. And we'll quickly upgrade this one. I think that's the one I'm looking for, isn't it? Oh, I need three. Why have, oh, I haven't picked them up. I've only made one. Or I've made two. I need another, another one. Okay, well, I'll get that done in the next episode. So that's where I'm going to leave it here. I'm pretty sure I heard somebody then. Uh, I'm going to leave it here. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.